Chorizo versus Donkey Kong. Chuckzilla versus Monkey. Just a disclaimer. I'm not going to be paying attention to the people in this movie. I just had a lot to say about the monsters and stuff. So, this is just a ramble, guys. Don't take it too seriously. Okay, bye. Godzilla versus Kong, the new empire. That's what I'll be talking about today. I, I've been a Godzilla fan for a long, long, long time. I, I went, <laughs> I went into this movie knowing it was going to be trash. It was going to be Hollywood trash. But wait, hear me out. It is. But it was a fun watch. I am not a movie reviewer. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm really not. But I'm just going to ramble about it because, because why not? <laughs> so, okay. First of all, we have Kong. We're, he's back! Kong's back! But instead of... <laughs> instead of his arm, he's now... Th he's, he's Thanos! He's Thanos from Marvel! He's got the Infinity Gauntlet because Shimo, this big dragon, this big lizard... It, it, it was a new monster... <laughs> It was a new monster, basically like the, or no, mo mother of all mo titans or something. And honestly, they hyped her up to be really powerful, and she was. Like, I'm not doubting that. Basically, she freezes Kong's arm, and this dude who fixes Kong's tooth, because his tooth is metal now, by the way, he has this extra arm laying around like, hey, this'll fix it! <laughs> so now he, now Kong has, <laughs> has, like a yellow infinity gauntlet. He's slaying! He's slaying, queen! He's slaying! But anyway, so Shimo, right? First of all, Kong wants to find his kind, his the, the great apes, and he goes down to Hollow Earth, and lo and behold, there they are. However, first he meets this little... First, he meets this little thing, this ugly mother, this ugly freaking... Monkey! I don't know why I hate this character. I just really do not like him. I just thought he was so stupid. I just hated him. I don't know. I, I don't have a reason. If you want to fight me in the comments, like, don't even bother. I don't have any logic. Like, I don't, I don't like him. I don't know why. He just annoys me. He's not cute. I just don't think he's cute. So many, like, people, oh my gosh, he's so cute. It's not! So here he is. I think his name's like Suko. I don't know. I, I looked it up. I, was, I didn't even remember from the film, to be totally honest. So basically finds him, brings him down to Hollow Earth, and they find like this clan or um group. I don't know what they call it in the movie. This like group of great apes, like Kong's, Kong's kind, which is awesome. But they're ruled by Scar King, who, by the way, I'll get to this later. I also hated him. He's the villain. He basically took over everything. He wants to go back to, like, um, what's it called? Like, just Earth. Like, land. I don't know. I don't... I honestly... This movie's a blur to me. I'm just rambling because it's fun. <laughs> and I have nothing else to do with my life. So, yeah. Scar... Back to Shimo. Scar King has Shimo, the most powerful monster, by the way, um, in chains. Basically enslaving her and giving her pain, which is terrible. And I hate to see it because Shimo is adorable. And I'll get to that later, too. And I love Shimo. She's a queen. She's powerful. Freezes Kong's arm. Is angry. Can't control herself because she's being controlled by this crystal. And they never explain that either. I don't think. Maybe they did. I don't know. But she's being controlled by, by that crystal. And whatever. What, what was it? Yeah. And every time, like, he waves the crystal or whatever, she shoots her ice breath, which is really powerful. It caused the first ice age, or the first, the ice age or whatever. Yeah, so basically she's, like, as powerful or more powerful than Godzilla. That's what they're trying to say. Um, anyway, so back with Godzilla, who I like him better than Kong, but this whole movie was about Kong! By the way, it was basically a Kong movie. Godzilla's throwing a tantrum, beating other titans up like usual because, you know, he's Godzilla and he's powerful and he can do what the heck he wants to do. So good for him. And he's doing it. So basically, you know, Kong's like, oh, this isn't good. 
Shimo's being controlled. The great apes are being controlled. His arm was frozen. So him and the stupid little little monkey thing. I don't like him. I don't know why. I have no reason. I also hate Scar King, but I have a reason. Anyway, so they go up with the people who, by the way, I like I mentioned, I'm not paying attention to the people at all. They did not make sense to me. I didn't really care about them. Basically, the only one I cared about the only people I cared about was the clan with Mothra. And um, they were great, but I'll get to them later. This really isn't a review. I'm just rambling. Like I said, nothing makes sense. Because this movie didn't really make sense, to be totally honest. But anyway, they go to the Earth, and Kong's like, Hey, Godzilla, I need your help! Please! And Godzilla's like, No! Get away! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla's like, leave leave me alone. I'm doing my thing. I just want to beat you. Get out of my territory. And this was in Egypt. He was knocking down pyramids and stuff. Oh, yeah. By the way, the little girl who's in the movie, um, who has a connection to things, wakes up Mothra from this temple. And Mothra goes up and is like, shut up! Bestie, chill. Godzilla's like, I love you. So Godzilla listens to Mothra because Mothra's the queen. And I do love Mothra. She's amazing. And I'm glad that she's back. But this movie made no sense. And, you know, she came in, basically told Godzilla, hey, go help Kong. And he listened. And that was really it for Mothra. She, like, helped here and there, which I... Mothra's powerful and cool. Can we give her more screen time, please? Please! Anyway, so, yeah, that happened, and (laughs) I don't remember this movie. It was, like, not good, but I enjoyed it. I'll I'll talk more about that later. (laughs) Anyway, so, yeah, we have that, and Mothra was there, and basically they leave Hollow Earth, and Scar King finds them, and they chase each other out of Hollow Earth, and then... Where were they? Rio? I think they went to Rio for some reason. They, like, open a portal to Rio. They all come out. They destroy the city, which no one cares about, by the way. No one cares that people died. No one cares that Shimo, mother of all monsters, is back. Or Titans, whatever, is back. And then no one cares. I don't know. None of the people, main character people care. I don't, like, I don't care about the people. I really don't. But anyway, so, um, yeah. So they all fight. Shimo's still being controlled. Big deal. Blah, blah, blah. And Godzilla and Shimo are going at it. And Kong and Scar King are going at it. And the stupid monkey, for some reason, little kid one is there. I don't know what he's doing. He's just tagging along, I guess. Put a child into battle, okay? Okay, Kong. Anyway, so they're fighting. And Kong and Scar King are like... (laughs) And, um... Yeah. Okay, so that happened. And... (laughs) <laughs> Godzilla and Shimo are fighting but again Godzilla is like in the background uh, by the way Godzilla has a lot of radiation now that's or whatever and evolving that's why he has pink spikes so anyway yeah that happened and Shimo's putting up a fight even though she's like controlled and then I, I don't remember what monster it was either Godzilla or Kong obviously like his stupid Scar King's stupid chain like I think Godzilla rips it out of his hand or something because, you know, Godzilla's OP. By the way, Scar King cannot do anything without Shimo. He's a fraud. Okay, just saying. So that leads me to the crystal where they break. I, I, who the heck breaks the crystal? I don't know. I think it's the little monkey dude. I don't remember. Um, Breaks the crystal. And then Shimo is like, oh, I'm awake. And this guy was controlling me, so she shoots Scar King and some, yeah, freezes him, and then Kong breaks him, which honestly, I like that. Cool, hated Scar King. I really did. I thought he was so boring. Like, without Shimo, he was useless. The second Shimo got loose and, and like, basically beat him, like, that was it. Then it was just up to Kong to smash him. And we all know Godzilla and Shimo could easily take out Scar King, okay, by themselves. Kong, I don't know. They were fighting, but we know Godzilla. And Sorry, like any Kong fans here. No offense. I like Kong, but Godzilla's way more powerful. Let's just come. I'm sorry. How can a big ape with a big frozen or yeah, whatever arm who punches hard beat a nuclear powered radioactive lizard that's been terrorizing Japan for years? Sorry, not happening. Same with Shimo. Shimo's basically Godzilla's equal or, or superior. I don't know. Lizards, man. Um, 
But then basically Godzilla clears the sky because Shimo froze the sky. And then Shimo's like, yeah, so pretty. I love Shimo. So cute. Dog vibes. But, um, yeah. And they go back to Hollow Earth. And, yeah. And Kong is nice to Shimo. And Godzilla is sleeping in the Coliseum again, which was the best part of this movie, to be honest. That and Mothra for me. I did like Shimo's little puppy eyes, too, but that was about it. So, um, yep, that was my ten minutes. <laughs> Sorry. This was literally just nothing. I, I, <laughs> I just had a lot to say about this movie. And to be totally honest, I don't really remember half of the plot because the plot didn't make sense to me and like I, I hope this didn't like make anyone mad because I'm literally just having a good time right now I don't hate this movie it was fun I already knew it was gonna be Hollywood it was so Hollywood and I'm sorry coming from Godzilla minus one I knew this was gonna be bad Godzilla minus one was literally one of the best Godzilla movies I've ever watched and I was here since Godzilla was in a costume days so don't judge me um but yeah, that was what I had to say. Basically, I enjoyed the watch. It was fun. It was really fun. Went with some of some loved ones, my friends, and it was great. I ate a lot of chocolate, enjoyed myself, popcorn, buttery popcorn. But it, you know, it wasn't a good movie. It was good, to, fun to watch, but it wasn't good. I hope you enjoyed this. I've never made a video this long. I, I don't know how many of you are still watching right now, but if you are, thank you for staying. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed it.